Hey guys, it is Friday, February the 19th. It is just after 7 p.m. And the temperature right now is minus 3 degrees Celsius. This here is Christie Street, and that is Christie Station across the street there. And there's a look into Christie Pitts Park. And as you can tell, we're having a bit of a snowfall right now. So the plan for this one is just to walk south here onto Bloor Street West. And then I'll head east through the Koreatown and Annex neighborhoods. And probably finish up in the Yorkville neighborhood. This is kind of a impromptu video. I didn't really have anything planned, but I also didn't think it would be snowing so heavily tonight. There's a look along Bloor Street. And now I'm currently heading east along the north side of Bloor. I had just recorded a live stream where I started close to where I live in Young and Eglinton and I made my way all the way down to right around where I started this video. And I accidentally hit the end stream button before I could say goodbye properly. So if you were watching that stream, I apologize. It was definitely a fun stream and thanks to everyone who participated in the chat. As well as those who sent super chats. That's always appreciated. And normally I record these snowfall walks with my older Pocket One camera, but I don't have that on me right now, so I'm using my new camera, the Pocket Two, and I don't have an umbrella, so this will be a good test to see if it holds up in the snow. I'm trying to keep my eye on the viewfinder, just in case it gets obscured by the snow. And this is Clinton Street, and there is Clinton's. That changed ownership last year. That bar is a staple of this neighborhood. And it looks like they installed a food stand in the front window there. So that'll be interesting. I noticed that when I recorded my live stream. I walked along that side of Clinton's. So this is Koreatown, and if you're wondering what walking around in this for over a couple of hours makes you look like. There you go, I am quite covered in snow. Let's spin that camera back around. Whenever I spin it around, I have to readjust the horizon level. Looks like I have to wait for the light here anyways. Whoa, he should not be on the sidewalk, especially when there's a dedicated bicycle lane right there. I think it's pretty much just delivery drivers out on their bicycles in this, like this guy here. They're pretty easy to spot. They have those thermal bag backpacks.
It looks like they'll have to come clear the roads off again pretty soon. Now imagine the residential streets around here can't be in such good shape right now. Man, it's really coming down. Maybe at some point I'll just give the, the lens a wipe just to make sure it's clear. That car pointed out in the traffic was a bit too far. And I'm also recording the audio a bit differently on this one. I normally use my old Galaxy S8 as my dedicated audio recording device. I hook a lav mic up to that, but I forgot it. So I'm using my newer S20 FE right now. And there's some settings and things I normally enable that I didn't enable because it's a different app. So hopefully this sounds all right. The onboard audio in this camera has started to fail. So that's not really an option these days. Here is Palmerston Avenue, although it is Palmerston Boulevard on that side of the street. And I've decided to kind of shield the camera with my hand. So I must look rather <laughs> strange to these people walking by. But I'm no stranger to looking a bit like a weirdo while I walk around and record these. I also think my microphone is probably covered in snow, but Nobody said it was cutting out or failing in the live stream. Here's someone stopping a pic of Arisu. So Koreatown comes to an end just up ahead here at Bathurst. Let's look at the construction progress at the old Honest Eds and Mervish, Mervish Village. And the Pizza Pizza up here on the left was featured in the movie Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, starring Michael Sarah, who is a Canadian. I think he's from the city of Brampton, which is a suburb of Toronto. So people were actually. So as I cross over. Bathurst here, I'm entering the Annex neighborhood. I'll see if I can get around this group of people in front of me. I left my wallet at home. I might have enough to buy a fucking thing, but. Alright. 
just one of those awkward moments. I tried to slip by, but they were going into Dollarama anyways. I think I heard a UK accent on that guy. There's Popper's Pub. Fortunately, today we learned the city of Toronto will remain under these current or, uh, restrictions for a few more weeks. Wow, and the annex Starbucks has closed as well. Starbucks has been closing locations left and right all over the city lately. Those were a couple of TTC fair inspectors. See my hand <laughs> dipped into the shot there. I just switched hands, now holding the camera with my left hand. So far, I think this method is working. It's just a bit tiring. There's the new Victory Cafe on the left. The old Victory Cafe was in Mervish Village. As I was saying, we learned that the city of Toronto and the region of Peel are going to stay under the current set of restrictions until early March. But our neighbors to the north of here in York region are moving into the red zone, which means it at least partially opens up. And I think that's a move that's rather hypocritical of the province. They really ought to treat all of the greater Toronto area as one, especially since I just read that Toronto has a lower case count per 100,000 residents than York Region does. I know the top doctor from Toronto recommended to keep things closed, as did the top doctor from Peel and York recommended to keep it open. But I'm not an expert. I just think it's crazy not to treat all three regions as one, especially since you can literally take the Toronto subway up to York. I think I saw the camera might be fogging up. I just pulled over to give it a wipe. Also, there's a fair bit of traffic. So this is Walmer Road. Hopefully that SUV stays put. I had a few close calls on my live stream from drivers that 
showed little regard for the safety of pedestrians. So this is Spadina Road I'm approaching and Spadina Station is just to the left, although I think the official pronunciation is Spadina Road. And to the right is Spadina Avenue. And that heads south all the way down to Queens Key, which is right in front of Lake Ontario. Take a little shelter here at the 7 Eleven. There's a look south down Spadina. And the snow seems to be lighting up a bit. I've given my hand a rest from covering up the camera. Man, that girl behind me walks pretty fast. So this here is Huron Street. I don't see anyone here. There's about a shoe museum. I did say I would do a live stream on my other channel later tonight. So I'd like to get home and kind of set up and prepare for that. Maybe order a pizza or some cheese duck albi. It's the kind of food I'm craving right now. So here is St. George Street. And just to the north of here is St. George Station. There's another entrance over at Bedford. 
if I were smart, I would hop in there. But I'm not, so we're going to keep on going all the way to either Bay or Blue or Young. My feet are actually getting a bit sore wearing these Columbia shoe boot dealies, although they've proven to be quite warm and relatively dry. I'm just going to go into power walking mode here. Although maybe I'll detour up Cumberland or Yorkville Avenue rather than stick to Bloor Street. I think it was two or three weeks ago I recorded a video along this part of Bloor through Yorkville that's known as the Mink Mile. I did a walk through the Mink Mile and then I headed down Young to Isabella Street and I walked along that over to around Sherburn. So just to keep things a bit different, maybe I'll pass through Yorkville, even though this is more of my, or one of my rather point A to point B walks rather than kind of exploring around and stopping to smell the roses. That's really my style of walking through the city anyways. And if it seems like I'm a bit short of breath, that's because I'm moving rather fast. And I've been out here walking non-stop for a rather long time. And there's the condo where our mayor of Toronto lives. And he actually recommended along with the city's top doctor to keep the city closed. And I certainly have some questions for him. Like, did you consult your economists and mental health experts and social services employees when you made that recommendation? So I think the answer is pretty clearly no. There's the Royal Ontario Museum across the street. And now the snow has pretty much stopped. I wonder what time it is. 7.25. That looks like there's a 29-story tower being planned for that lot. I remember when there was a McDonald's here on the left. It was a very interesting old McDonald's. And I think they had a very long and favorable lease signed. So when they redeveloped this property, I think they had dibs on maintaining that lease in the spot that was part of the agreement with the developer, rather than get bought out their lease. The old McDonald's was kind of multi-level. It was really cool. I remember going there on field trips when we came down to the ROM back when I was in high school and elementary school for that matter.
Okay, and the snow has pretty much come to an end. Here is Avenue Road. I walked all the way down Avenue Road from Midtown. That was in my live stream. And there's the look south. It actually is Queens Park south of Bloor Street. And to the north, it's Avenue Road. And then south of the legislative building at College Street, it becomes University Avenue. So what I will do is just go north for a block here. And rather, stick, rather than stick to Bloor, I think I'll take Cumberland Terrace over. Just cut through Yorkville. Wonder if I look even worse than earlier. Can't really see in this tiny little viewfinder. Maybe I look about the same. This is Cumberland Street. I could actually dip into Bay Station just up ahead here. Or I could keep it rolling and head all the way over to Blue or Young. And there's even an indoor road I could take, although it's not that cold out. And there should be an ice sculpture festival coming up in this area. I think even in the coming weeks, I'll have to double check the date on that. But I'll be back here to record and do a live stream once that happens. And this Starbucks got to remain. There's an entrance to Bay Station on line two. Although it's usually quicker just to keep walking if you're heading over to line one at Bloor Young. Then take line two one stop and transfer. That was an interesting way to pass some people. There's Sassafras. It'll kind of suck if the audio doesn't turn out. I've never used this application before. But it was snowing. I didn't really care to fiddle with it too much. So that is, I think they refer to that area as Yorkville Village. And here is Bay Street. Maybe I'll just dip down to Bay. 
it'll take that way over to Gluryang. It's kind of a neat look. South Down Bay. The old location at the Gap is just up here on the left. They've also pretty much left their Queen Street West store closed. This flagship, uh, flagship store here on Bloor and the Mink Mile closed. I wonder if their Eaton Center store is still there. I was hoping to be able to find out on the 22nd, but it looks like the mall will remain closed. And this is Holt Renfrew on the left here. And there is Italy. Paul Renfrew is a large Canadian upscale department store. Not too unlike Saks Fifth Avenue, which is ironically enough also now Canadian. Saks is owned by the Hudson's Bay Company. And there's a look at the one starting to rise. That'll be one of two new super tall towers going up in the city of Toronto. The other one is at one young street and this one's all the way on the other end of downtown that's where the old stalleries clothing store used to be And that is one blur east across the street and if the rumors hold up there'll be a flagship apple store occupying the main retail space in one blur west And it looks like I just missed a scramble crossing. Well, that guy's talking to himself. I'm gonna put my mask on right now as that's required for getting into the TTC. I uh, soaked my disposable mask earlier tonight. So I'm currently trying to put this cloth mask on. I always have a backup one in my pocket. Imagine being a kid today growing up and your parents like, don't forget your mask, Billy. Certainly very different than when I grew up. I think you'd really want your kid to have two or three masks on him. And I probably had this damn thing on all crooked. Oh yeah. Whatever. These things aren't fashion statements anyways. So let's head down into the subway. I feel like a dog coming indoors. This should probably 
shake myself off pretty good. I don't know what people are thinking when they go to their left like that guy just did. It just seems counterintuitive. So here's Blue Young Station. Can do the hands-free entry. was not the most pleasant language or appropriate. And woohoo, a train. All right. I hope you enjoyed this snow walk along Blur Street through Koreatown, the Annex, and Yorkville. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's a link to Patreon in the description, and you can check out channel memberships on my main page. Line one, towards Finch. Please stand clear of the doors. All right, thanks for watching. Please stand clear of the doors. And I will catch you on the next one. Please stand clear of the doors.